Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about a problem of a switched network, layer two switching loop. In a typical local area network, it is very common that multiple switches are used and interconnected for redundancy. Redundancy means that more than one path is possible between two switches. And the redundancy is good because the network will not fail completely even when some link breaks. However, the interconnected switches would have one serious potential problem: layer two switching loop. Let's see an example. We have four interconnected switches. A couple of devices are connected to those switches, like. Computer A is connected to switch four, and web server is connected to switch one. Suppose computer A wants to talk to a web server. It sends a request frame to the server. To understand the switching loop, which I will talk about in a moment, you need to know how a switch uses its set table. To forward or deliver a frame to the destination, please check my video "How a Switch Builds Source Address Table Dynamically." If you are not familiar with how it works, I put the video link below just for your reference. Otherwise, please continue. Switch four gets the frame first. And it checks the destination MAC address against its set table, and it does not see the web server's MAC address. Switch four would broadcast to all its ports, except the source port. That's why the frame is sent to both switch two and switch three. When they get the frame, both switch two and switch three. Checks their set table. They do not see the destination MAC address in their set table because the web server is not attached to any of their ports. Therefore, they broadcast to all other ports except the source port. Now let's pause for a moment to check what's happening now. Switch two sends the frame to three directions: computer B, switch one, and switch three. Switch three sends the same frame to three directions two. Computer C, switch one, and switch two. We might see a problem already at this point: switch one, switch two. And switch three get the same frame from different sources. Switch two gets it from switch three, and switch three gets it from switch two, and switch one gets two copies from both switch two and switch three. Now let's focus on switch one only. When switch one gets two frames, it checks its set table, and finds the web server is the destination, and then it delivers two same frames to the web server. One copy is unnecessary though, but the problem is still trivial as more bigger problems are coming soon. Now let's focus on switch two and switch three. When switch two and switch three get the frame from each other, they both check their set table. They do not see the destination MAC address in their table. Next step, they broadcast again. They send the same frame to all their ports except the source port. Thus, you will see a messy picture now. From switch two. The broadcast goes to three directions: computer B, switch one, and switch four. From switch three, the broadcast goes to three directions: two, computer C, 
switch one and switch four. What's happening now? Two frames arrive at switch one, and switch one would deliver them to the web server. By now, the web server has got four copies of the same frame. Now let's turn our attention to switch four, and we would see an even bigger problem occurs. As switch four gets two copies from both switch two and switch three, it checks its set table against the destination MAC address. It broadcasts again, but this time even the computer A, the frame originator, will get its own. Frame and twice. Besides, switch four also sends the frame to both switch two and switch three. Does this look familiar? That was how the frame start its journey at the very beginning. The second round of loop starts. During this one cycle, the web server has got four copies. And even the computer A has got two copies of its own message. The frame will start circulating the network in a loop, and to make things worse, it would be an endless loop. It is not difficult to imagine how crazy and messy the network would become with just one frame, not to mention multiple devices are talking at the same time. It would be absolutely a disaster. Ultimately, the network would collapse. Any solution? The answer would be yes. Layer two switching loop can be prevented by using spanning tree protocol. And what's the spanning tree protocol? How does it work? It would be another topic in my next video. I hope this video is helpful. If you want to learn network systematically, please check out my playlists. They are organized by topics. Thank you very much, and see you next time.